John's a big Tiger supporter. He just got solar power installed. He used to spend $600 per quarter on power, but with his new bill plus Metro Solar Easy Payments, he's saving $169 per quarter from day one. That adds up to $88,000 after 25 years. So no, John can't own his power company, but he can own his solar system. Fierce competitor in the back half for the Tigers. Floss Tone, Morris, back to where it came. Nice running. Ellis was involved as well. Floss Tone started it all and drills it home for a magnificent goal from half back to half forward. Good day, Tiger fans. Welcome to Raw Vision, brought to you by Metro Solar. And I'm joined by Nick Floss Tone, who's missed the last two games with an injury to his right hand, his little finger, his pinky. How are you going, Nick? How is the injury? Yeah, it's not too bad. Um, first session back today in the wet. Not really what you want with a hand injury, but going well. Got the all clear from the docks. So pretty pumped. That's fantastic. All clear, so you're available to play this week. Yeah, if Dimon picks me, so we'll see what goes on. Well, that's great news. Uh, tell us exactly what you've had done to your hand. Yeah, um, so I did it going for a smother. Um, I think it was Big Ruckman Jamer, um, and his foot just collected my finger and it just yeah. popped out to the side. So I had surgery the Monday after the game, and I've got a plate and four screws in there. So how is it now with your ball drop? Because it's your right hand there. You don't want to affect your ball drop. Yeah, it's a little bit weird. I had to wear the glove today and it just stuck a little bit more. So uh, hopefully get used to it by the weekend. Well, fantastic news that you're back this week. Now, you've had a partner in crime in rehab. Liam McBean's done exactly the same thing. Is he yeah. back this week? No, I think VFL have a bye this weekend. So I think he's going to have to miss another one. But um, no, it's been good. Uh, someone who did the exact same thing. Yeah. So um, pretty much the same recovery for both of us. So how have you been in rehab? I guess you've been able to do a lot of running uh, with it being a hand injury, so your fitness should be good. Yeah, I only missed one week because the first week after surgery, you're not allowed to sweat. Right. So things in the gym, we were doing one set and then I had to sit down for a couple of minutes, but I, so that was a bit frustrating. But um, yeah, since then, like been getting smashed really. So um, yeah, it should be pretty much the same before I left, if not a little bit better. What about your ball handling? Was, was today the first time you've handled a football? Yeah, first full grabs, like last week we were always just doing one touch with the left and stuff like that. So first, I don't know, 50 metre kicks on the lead and stuff, trying to mark it in the wet. So, OK, the last two weeks you probably haven't missed much footy in your first 18 months at Richmond. How has it been sitting there watching? It's been a tough few weeks. Yeah, the GWS game, oh, I was tough to watch just because the boys were having such a good time, I suppose. And then last week, I just want to be out there and help them. Um, it wasn't fun in the stands. It was pretty silent. Um, from all us sitting with each other, so yeah, it wasn't fun. You've had a pretty good year last year. This year, uh, before you got injured, you are playing pretty well also. How have you seen your year? Yeah, I think I was all right in patches. I did get the concussion against Doggies and it probably took me two weeks to get back from that. Uh, so I thought I started well against Gold Coast and Carlton and then, yeah, kind of trailed off a little bit. So hopefully it doesn't take me too long. Still plenty of the year left to run out. What would you like to achieve out of the rest of the year personally? I uh, personally just continue to build, hopefully move into the midfield a little bit, uh, play some more time in there and maybe consolidate my defensive side of my game, I suppose. We've got North Melbourne this week. Good luck and it'll be good to see you back out there. If Dimmer picks you, I think you'll be right. Yeah, hopefully. Cheers, Richard. Thanks, Nick.